Today's devotion is dedicated in honor of all my family, friends, and partners who have so unselfishly given and partnered with us this year in ministry. Your giving has made ministry and set it in motion. Amen. Obviously, God has been in it right from the beginning. And I take my cues from the book of Philippians. Paul writing to the church in Philippi from verse 10 of chapter 4 says, Firstly, I praise God for your concern for me. And I certainly praise God for what he has done through all our friends, family and partners. And Paul says there in verse 17 that he doesn't say this because he wants a gift from the church. Rather, and I quote, I want you to receive a reward for your kindness. Amen. And I say again, your contribution, your partnership, I declare today is a sweet smelling sacrifice that is acceptable and pleasing unto God. That's what verse 18 declares and speaks about. Amen. Indeed, friends, as Paul pens down the final words of this epistle to the Philippi church, again in chapter 4, he says, I have learned to live. That's right. I have learned to live, to be content with whatever I have. Verse 12 says, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. So there's both sides of the coin here. I have also learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or with empty or with plenty or with little. There's the thrust verse for today, Philippians 4.13. For I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Friends, in your situation as well, where are you today? Are you content with having what God has given you? That's right. There's nothing wrong in being ambitious and wanting more and gaining and climbing up the ladder. But friends, it's how we do it that matters. That's right. You know, Paul says in verse 18, At the moment I have all I need and more, but I'm generously supplied with the gifts you sent me. It's better to give than to receive. Because your kindness, your unselfish giving activates rewards for you from God. When that sacrifice, just like Noah's sacrifice, was placed on the altar, ah, when the aroma reached heaven, God smelt it and said, Oh, now I know why I made mankind. Remember, God was angry with, with us humans because we've sinned against him and refused to repent. And God there and then made certain promises and covenants with Noah. Amen. Does your sacrifice prompt God to do that? Become a sweet-smelling sacrifice, acceptable and pleasing. And he says, Paul writing in that verse 20 again says, Now all glory to God our Father forever and ever. Amen. Father, in no other name we come but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Daddy, help us never ever to be selfish, but to give when the need arises. Lord, not let our giving be a joy. Let us not give out of obligation. It's that time of the year again, a time of giving, a time of joy. Help us to share that message with the rest of those that are around us. We don't have to give to become broke, but we give as you ask us to give. For indeed, Lord, our sacrifice, be it only for this season, 
or for many seasons, Father, let it be a sweet-smelling sacrifice, acceptable and pleasing unto you. Help us never to give grudgingly, because you love a cheerful giver. Lord, change our attitudes, and for those that are in need today, we pray, Dad, that you will supply their need. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Both Sharon and I want to declare this scripture over you, your business, your family, and whatever you do. Philippians 4, 19. And this same God who takes care of us will supply all your needs from his glorious riches, which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Amen. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.